The American League Central takes on the West. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Oakland Athletics. All game long here on 2K Sports. How to describe him? Well, how about as a winner? Mike Burley, he'll be putting his stuff on display here today. Great to have you with us and for the Oakland A's. They are happy to be home. Thank you for joining us early autumn edition of MLB here on 2K. Well we're going to see Trevor Cahill pitch. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup what are they going to see from him today. Lineup for the White Sox let's take a look it is courtesy of. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. Now is the White Sox taking the win yesterday. Staying very focused these last couple of weeks they've strung together nine in a row. And anytime you have a team that's playing with this much confidence in every phase of the game working, what they're doing is just dropping the hammer on the rest of the league. Hard grounded a short, Pennington. And so Damon retired. Now we'll take a quick look at the A's, how they're taking the field defensively. Particular standouts here, Steve? Kurt Suzuki is a guy that has great reactions behind the plate, Gary. You don't talk about range very much, but this guy can get out on bunts as well as anybody in the major league. The pitch. Oh! Ramirez will foul that one away. Hit hard on the ground to short. Oh, Two away. And a look at next Sunday. It'll be Kevin Euclid and the Boston Red Sox. They face the Yankees at Yankee Stadium. That will kick off at 1 p.m. Eastern. A chance to watch two good teams matching up in that one, Gary. I'm look, really looking forward to it. Well, maybe he needs a little vision clarity here. That one he went after, and it was clearly in the dirt. That's it, foul by Kanerka. Oh! Hit sharply towards the hole. He throws. Late throw. He's on at first. Now Boy, I don't know in that count, Steve. Chicago number one, the fact that he swung's right kind of a surprise. I don't know. He hit that. You're right. On an 0-2 count, you have to protect the plate. Sometimes it's a defensive swing, but sometimes it works out. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. Streak continues. That gets in. Where are the top batting averages for this month? Our State Farm leaderboard. All of these guys, quality contact hitters. In fact, you know, when you're that kind of a hitter, it means that you can hit any kind of pitch the pitcher throws, and you're using the whole field. You're hitting it where it's pitched. And Beckham's in the box. His career batting average, ooh ha, 400 against the A's. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. Mark Burley's going to be pitching. He gets settled in for Chicago. And what do you think's on his mind here as he goes up against this Oakland lineup? Well, don't blink your eye on this one, because if you do, you're going to miss some pitches from Mark Burley, the quickest worker in all of baseball. When he gets it, he throws it. There's no wasted time. He has a low pitch count. He throws a fastball, a curve, a changeup, a slider, a cut fastball. He throws them all for strikes, and he uses his defense. He doesn't strike out a lot of guys, but he keeps the ball in play and down in the zone. Big swing, misses on the changeup, struck him out, went away. I just don't think you can make it any easier than that. Three pitches, up, down, see you later. He's already back at the bench. And it's Coco Crisp now. Last game for the A's, they won. That made it two for three after trading games one and two of the three games set against the Twins in Minnesota. And that swung on and hit. Rios. Catch is made. Courtesy of Pepsi. We'll see how Bob Guerin's lineup looks. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand up? Well, Kurt Suzuki's one of those rare guys who doesn't have to hit a lot of home runs to drive in run. He's a guy that puts the ball in play, can hit for a high average, but when men are in scoring position, he takes what the pitcher gives you and delivers runs for his team. Let's see if he can produce some for them in this one. 0 oh and 1. Burley kicks oh, and delivers. Strike two. Now no balls, two strikes. Kurt Suzuki doesn't want a K here. Here's the pitch. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. Throws to first in time. That's three down. So Mike Burley gets him one, two, three. He gets through the first inning without allowing a hit. 
And it'll be the White Sox. And Alex Rios to lead off. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Alex Rios. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0 and 1. Swung on, line to right field. And that's going to be a base hit for Rios. Coming that's going to bring up A.J. Pierzynski. Let's take a peek at the league leaders in hits brought to you by State Farm. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. Hard ground at a short. It's picked up. Gets one at second. Over to first. He is safe. Almost a double play. Not quite enough time. And Joe Creedy in the box. Joe Creedy. One out. Runner on at first. Swing sends this one on the line to right center. And it's up against the wall. The throw. And here's Pazinski heading home. Good offensive chance here. Just kind of lean in, Steve, and slap that thing the other way in that kind of pitch. Well, you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it to right field. He's one of the best at doing it. And it's Jim Tomey at the plate. Right there in the top five and home run. Well, he keeps the runners right where they are, so now he's just out of the way for working his way out of danger and keeping this game tied. Two on and a couple down. Here's Johnny Damon. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five. Hot shot towards the hole. And that ball gets through, and the runner's going to come home. Situations repeating themselves here. A chance to produce, and they are. Alexi. Well, one of the offensive Ramirez. leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense, and somebody that's really come to rely upon. And Ramirez settles in. Hit up the middle. Oh, mercy. Yeah, that did not miss him by much, but he got out of the way. And Creedy comes home. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. First base, number 14, Paul Canerco. Leave a pitch over the center of the plate like that, you're going to pay for it. Uh, no doubt about it. Big leaguers take advantage of those kinds of mistakes. And Paul Canerco to bat. So the hit hard to second. And Damon comes in. Coming to bat. Opposite field hitting. It is a classic piece of baseball. Especially on that inside pitch. It keeps the defense off guard when you can muscle the inside pitch to right field. RBI opportunity right here for Carlos Quinton. Boy, so many quality at bats for this offense. The pitcher has to make a pitch here and slam this door shut, or this could get away from him. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0 and 1. Steve, absolutely right. They uh, can't afford to give up too many more here. This thing's going to disappear. Swings, clobbers this one. Deep left center field. Say goodbye. A three run homer. Steve, he knocks in a three run homer. They lead by six. That one brings home three and our Pepsi WPA chart shows us how it adds to their chances. I mean, the White Sox lead expanded here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Base is empty and two down. Now the first pitch. That swung on line towards the gap in left center. And another hit. Oh, my. This clinic's just beginning. Now we have a look at the league leaders for the best on base percentage. The table set is brought to you by State Farm. Getting on base is a philosophy. It's a mental state. It's a really an approach. And these guys understand that. They understand they have to do whatever they can to get on. They have the toughest at bats of any hitters in the major league. So that brings Alex Rios to the plate. He had a single in his last time up. Here's the pitch. 
He's wishing he laid off that one a strike on a pitch in the dirt. That's hit foul by Rios. Hit sharply towards the hole. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they're also number one in hits. A lineup that puts the ball in play, finds holes, and gets themselves on base. A real bonus to scoring runs. And there's another one. Couple of quick hits. They need to get an out right now. I mean, this offense just has keep, kept the pressure on them. They need to regroup and get an out. Joe Crady looks to knock in a run. Well, I think we're seeing some padding here, although in this game there's no such thing as insurance runs, really. You've got the pitcher on the rope. You have to take advantage of it while he's down. Swung on and missed. Strike one. I don't know if you got a chance to see his last ball game, but he picked up two hits in that Strike one. Two. Swing the bat well. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Crady will lean in on that zone now. There is a swing and a liner. And the side's retired. Ellis catches, and he heads in. Striking early, big inning. The White Sox are out in front, six to nothing. Oakland Coliseum, beautiful evening. A little bit of a breeze, not too cool, though. Number four, Eric Chavez. And Eric Chavez to bat. Burley with a delivery. There's one that's in there called strike. Here's the delivery. Looks at one that's in there. 0 and 2. The hitter saw fastball. The pitcher threw changeup. Not a good combination for the hitter. Cutter thought he had him, but it's one and two. Taps this one foul off to the left. Line towards second. Beckham. And that'll set down Chavez. It's going to be Ellis now. One out, faces him. Swing, hot shot. And Oakland there, first hit. And that will bring Adam Kennedy up. Well, he waited for that one to get deep in the zone, and he put a good swing on it. Now with one out, let's see if they try to move him along. Burley with a delivery. Swing and a hot shot. And he scoops it up. And Kennedy is retired. Too late and he is safe at second. But Gary, he had thoughts about wheeling and going to second base right there. But instead just went the first to get the sure out. Hit in the air to left center. And it falls in there. That's going to be a single. And Ellis is home. Situations repeating themselves here. A chance to produce, and they are. Two outs and a man on first. Slider just misses. One and all. Cutter just off the black, and he falls behind. Two and all. He looks at that fastball. Called strike. Two and one. And Burley sends the 2 1 pitch. Swung and a ground ball to third. Throws to second. That'll be a force out and the third out. So they pick up a run on two hits and leave no one on. The A's showing some fight. They're gaining ground here. It's going to be Tomei now. Designated hitter, number 27, Jim First pitch. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. And that'll bring Johnny Damon to the plate. 
Here's how the Central Division is shaping up late going. It's brought to you by State Farm. It's the White Sox in first. Second place, the Royals. Third place goes to the Indians. In the fourth spot, it's the Twins. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. The uh, Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before, and now they're doing everything right. In the top ten in hits. Here it comes. Swung on line to right center field. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. There's the throw. That will bring up the big bat in a big moment, Alexei Ramirez. One of the best batting averages in the league. Runners at the corners with no one out. And Ramirez settles in towards the middle. A run comes home. And they won't be able to get him. Everybody's safe. But Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just the quality approach at the plate, day in and day out, that consistency is critical to their success. RBI chance goes to Paul Canerco. And they've not had to struggle here at the plate in this game. They just keep building on this lead. The runs just keep on coming right now. Quality at bat after quality at bat. A lot of outs left. But you know what? It looks to me like they're getting ready to put this one away early. He grabs it. And there's one. And they turn the double play. And now courtesy of State Farm, here's a chance to view the league's best RBI producer. Well, these are the run producers right here, the guys that, that ultimately decide whether your team wins or loses. They can pick up RBIs in any situation. First pitch to Quinton. That's on that off-speed pitch, but can't connect 0-1. You saw their last game. You saw what a big part of their offense he was contributing with three base hits. Martin feels the ball, and he'll step on first to retire the side. They pick up one on three hits, strand a man. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. And here's Ryan Sweeney leading it off. Right fielder, number 16, Ryan Sweeney. Burley with a delivery. Looks at one, that's in there for a strike. Grounded up the middle, and Ramirez feels the ball, and Sweeney is retired. Closing in on the end of the season, let's take a look at the race in the Western Division, brought to you by State Farm. It's the Angels in first, Mariners in second place, in third, the Rangers, and in the fourth spot, the A's. Davis into the batter's box, leads the division in hits, and Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0-1. And the pitch taken, first strike by Davis. Well, if you saw his last game, you got a chance to see that he swung the bat well in that one, picking up a couple of knocks. Davis making oh. contact, but he'll foul that one away. Oh. Davis fights off another one. Well, with the way we keep track of pitch counts right now, you know 0-2, the pitcher wants to put him away. Swung on and a grounder to first. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Number three. It's Coco Crisp now. Here's Crisp. First look. Fouled away. Oh and one. Burley kicks and delivers. Called strike at its own two. Look for the pitcher to try to expand the strike zone here. The hitter has to swing at anything You're close. Out. That is a called strike three to Coco Chris. And they go quietly offensively in this half inning. Nothing across. The white side. And Beckham's in the box. He's going to get us started here in the fourth. Number 15, Gordon Beckham. Here's the first pitch. Line drive. That's foul towards first. Suzuki setting up. Strike two, Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. I saw the last game he delivered in the clutch with three RBIs in that one, a big part of their offensive contribution. And Ellis picks it up. And Beckham set down. With this break, here are the teams that have been piling up the runs courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. Second, the Yankees. 
Third spot, the Red Sox. Fourth, the Jays. And for the Orioles, they are fifth. Well, you talk about a high up. Now swing and a shot towards second. So Rios is set down. It's going to be Brzezinski. He's been playing a lot of time. 13 years at the major league level. First pitch to him. Swung on and hit this one towards Crisp. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. Quick hit. Leading it off, Kurt Suzuki. Number eight, Kurt Suzuki. Burley with a delivery. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. And that sets down Suzuki. That's one away. And here's Eric Chavez. I didn't get a chance to see his last ball game. He came up with a shot, took advantage of a pitcher's mistake. Now Chavez gets set. He swings and nails a liner, and that's a base hit. Chavez on. Now coming to bat. Only one out here in the inning, so good opportunity here if they can string a couple hits together to make this a very productive inning. Burley with a delivery. Oh, cutter just misses. One and zero. Good action on that cut fastball down in the zone. Hitter just laid off. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. Damon. That's the second out of the inning. For the Oakland Athletics. Designated hitter. Kennedy at the plate. Two outs and a runner on second. And here's the first one. And Burley gets it by. Called strike and the count will go to 0-1. Well, if he could throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pick. Good moving cutter, and it's one and two now. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. And that'll put Kennedy on the first. Chavez around third, headed for the plate. And the run gets in. Reduction opportunities. Oakland's opening that door wider. Runner on first, two away. And the first pitch. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. Well, the hitter's got to regret that one. He missed his pitch right down the heart of the plate. Four seam fastball. Eric. That hurts. Throw over to second base, a force to retire the side. And heading to the dugout, Mark Burley. Very stable on the mound so far. And our camera catches the uh, Bob Guerin look. His club's moving in the right direction offensively. Last half inning. Pitching is now critical to give his guys a shot. They try and get this tied. Strike one. Screwball swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Well, hitters nowadays don't get to see too many of these screwballs. That clearly fooled him. He was way out in front. Strike two. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Greedy. He'll lean in on that zone now. There's a swing and a ball in high. Way back there. Goodbye home run. Well, I don't know what's going wrong for these guys. Extending their lead to six. Solo, big shot. Well, another home run right there. It's two now, so really this, this lineup looking like they're getting very comfortable. Number 27. White Sox lead expanding here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. And it's a called strike to Tommy. Steve, this has been an unbelievable offensive show and contributing to it the long ball. Well, you're right. I mean, every single time the pitcher made a mistake, it's been getting knocked around the ballpark. And that'll bring Johnny Damon to the plate. What a year for him. Top five in homers. No one out and a runner on first. He delivers. Line shot into center field. And he's on now. That's going to be another hit for them. Just a solid offensive player, day in and day out, and a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Alexi Ramirez. Runners at first and second. It'll be Alexei Ramirez up. And one of the league's most prolific hitters in the top five. 
And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Swings a little late that time. Strike one. The pitch. This one's grounded hard up the middle. There's one. There's two. And two's what they're going to get. No time to turn three. But Gary, you get a chance to look at this double play and the replay. And this is an outstanding effort to make the catch, get to the bag, and make the throw. That's a rally killer. And that's going to deny the chance at a big inning here. And here's Paul Canerco. He's the league leader in ribbies. Takes a call. Strike one. But Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out, that consistency is critical to their success. Swung on and missed, strike two. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there. He got that slider in the strike zone. He got the hitter out in front to swing early. That swung on and a liner here. And the side's retired. Ellis catches and he heads in. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Leading off, Derek Barton. First base. Number 10. First pitch on the way. This one's grounded to second. Back up. That retires Buckley. A look at the teams with the lowest ERA for the month, courtesy of State Farm. The White Sox, number one. Second, the Angels. The Red Sox, third. Fourth, the Mariners. And at number five on the list, the Rays. We take a look at these low ERAs, and I think it really points to the fact they have depth and their pitching staff. The starting pitching and the bullpen have been getting the job done, really limiting the opposition. Takes so much pressure off the offense. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And Sweeney is retired. For the Oakland Athletics left fielder. Davis into the batter's club. He's hitting 333 lifetime off the White Sox. Burley with a delivery. And Davis swings, hits this one. And in there, base hit. He's going to try to stretch it. You'll take inning on base anytime, any inning. It just doesn't matter. And here with this double, maybe it's a chance to get a two out rally started. Here's Chris. First look up the middle. Burley. Throw is not in time, and he's on. Oakland in a nice position here to capitalize. Listen, go right back up the middle. Hitting coaches say it all the time. You don't want to be too pole conscious. And uh, that hit just hard enough. Uh, pitcher could not snag it, and once it got by him, it was out into the outfield. Now, this is a big part of the field. That's what you want to do. Burley with a delivery. In there, it's one and two now. A good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. Swing and a foul straight back. The one-two pitch. Back up the middle. Gets through. That run's going to score. Well, the rally here energized every new opportunity they take advantage of. Number four. He takes this one-two pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit. When you're behind in the count, you just want contact, and he got it. There's a swing ball lined softly down the left field side. And that's in there. The A's will score. Steve, sometimes that pitch down the middle you want to drive. He chose to take it the other way. Oh, good piece of hitting. You don't have to always pull that ball. You think up the middle at first and then adjust accordingly. Outstanding adjustment. Here's Mark Ellis now. A couple on and two away. Well, it's a little action. Look, it's headed in the right direction. It's just a long road to hold. Well, listen, Gary, they're hanging around right now. It's scratching and clawing, trying to get back into this game. And you know what? They're closing in on it. And this team will do that to you. They've got a reputation as a ball club that just won't go away. Ground ball up the middle. Back up. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. So they scratch across two runs, three hits, and two left on. The A's joins. Isaac again taking a look at you right there. Well, he's not happy with his club. Uh, still out in front, but he knows they cannot afford to have innings like that and still win. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. An exciting hitter. Boy, he is some fun to watch. 
First pitch to Quinton. Took something off and it swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Spotted by Suzuki. Ball is blasted. A long high drive deep to center field. Out of here. Goodbye home run. Add one more to that lead. Solo big fly ball up by five. White Sox lead expanding here. Gary they just keep getting big hits. There's a bullet towards third and in there second hit for him in the ball game on his fourth plate appearance. And it's going to be a good weekend starting on Saturday. It'll be Alex Rodriguez and the New York Yankees will be hosting the Boston Red Sox that will kick off at 1 p.m. Eastern. So that brings Alex Rios to the plate. Last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win staying very focused these last couple of weeks they've strung together nine in a row. Oh, this club's just lost one of their last ten ball games. You talk about a hot team. This is it. Hit up the middle. Oh my! How did he get out of the way of that? Those are scary. And two. They got both of them that time. AJ. It's going to be Przinsky. Two outs and nobody on. The pitch. Wings and misses at the fastball. 0 and 1. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Hit hard on the ground towards third. You're Throws out. to first side is retired. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox, they've got a commanding five run lead. Oakland Coliseum, beautiful evening. A little bit of a breeze, not too cool though. Number 29, Adam Kennedy. The first pitch. Ground ball to short, fielded by Ramirez, and Kennedy is retired. Number 26. Pennington's in the batter's box. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Good pitch from Burley swung on and missed. Oakland picked up the win yesterday. So after splitting the first two games a good outing to finish that line right at the second baseman. I come able to pull that one in. It's going to be Barton. Ron's last game came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double. But unfortunately just couldn't come up with a triple. Now the first pitch. And Burley gets it by called strike and the count will go to 0 and 1. Good change up. It's quickly 0 and 2. Taps this one foul to the right. This one swung on hit down the line and right. And in there base hit. And they can't cut it off. It'll roll to the wall. And he'll stop at second base. And it will be a double. Statistics say that the 0-2 count by far is an advantage for the pitcher. But in this situation, he fought off a tough pitch and slapped the base hit. Great job on that at bat. It's going to be Sweeney. Over his career, a solid 385 off the White Sox. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. And you can throw the ball down in the zone with that kind of towards the middle. Oh, avoided the path of that ball. That was right up the middle. Was that ever close? So they pick up a hit, but leave a man at second and fail to score. And our camera catches the uh, Bob Guerin look. And uh, tough decisions, maybe or maybe not. This bench needs some inspiration. He'll try to give it to him. Leading it off, Joe Creedy. He homered back in the fifth. First pitch to Creedy. Swung on and ripped towards second. That one in the alley. This could be two or more. This one rolls through to the wall. 
He stops at second. That will be a double. He's in scoring position now with nobody out. We talk about a guy who's swinging it right now as good as anybody. That's his third hit of the ball game thus far. Let's see if this can mount a rally with nobody out. And as Jim told me in the box now, base hit his last time. Hot shot towards the hole. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. But just what his team needed, he continues to swing a great bat. Three hits from now in this ball game, and he's on with no outs. And it's Johnny Damon now. There's contact. He drove it well. What? Here comes the runner for the plate. And Creedy comes home. Well, Steve, they won't get the RBI on this, but they'll give themselves a better chance of getting them. Well, moving the runners up, that's what you have to do. Make productive outs. And it's Alexei Ramirez now, one away. Well, they've definitely got a rhythm going right now, each player feeding off the other. Now, Garrett, as you can see, this offense just keeps on rolling, keeps on producing. Why don't you keep on rolling, Gary? And in this game, there's no such thing as piling on. You want to carry over. If you're hot now, keep it going. Swing and a miss. He's in the hole. Two strikes. Swing and a miss. Three strikes, and Alexei Ramirez is set down. When you're getting guys out with three pitches, you know you're dominating. That's a time when you know you are definitely in the zone, and he was on that at bat. Now Paul Canerco batting with a runner on first. Lined out last time up. And he starts Canerco out. Swing sends this one on the line to right center. And it gets down. That's hit number three on the ball game and five at bats. Tomei's going to try to score. And he pulls into second base. That will be a double. Right fielder, number 20. Well, he's having a heck of a day so far. Just third hit of the game in this one. He just can't seem to find an answer for him. And doing the pitching will be Craig Breslow. He's been brought in to take over for the Athletics. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. Lifetime, he's gone 0 for 2 against Breslow. And in there, the White Sox will score. Up to the he just continues to swing a hot bat in this one. Is that four hits for him now? Yes, it is. And Beckham's in the box. This is a potent offense on the field right now, really dominating. Gary, I mean, with that hit right there, I mean, they're just pouring gasoline on the fire right now. Somebody's got to have a hose. And Sweeney puts that away to retire the side. Well, they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. The top of the order is due up next. And welcome to those of you just tuning in. 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Carter. Burley with a delivery. Davis making contact, but he'll foul that one away. Swung on and a ground at a first. And he'll step on the bag. That'll be the first out. It's Coco Crisp now. Headless so far, he'll get another shot at it now. Here's Chris. First look. The pitch from Burley. Swung on and missed. Okay, one out here in the seventh inning. I mean, you have to like the way this is going. They're looking good. The pitcher's throwing strikes. The defense making plays. They've got a big lead. Everything feels good. And that'll put Chris on at first. And he is now safe at first. He's on board. So Kurt Suzuki will come up. And an RBI single his last time in the plate. And the first pitch. And Burley gets it by. Called strike and the count will go to 0 and 1. The hitter thought that ball was on the ground to first. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Now, Let's take a chance here right now to see where the Athletics sit in the American League. Fifth in stolen bases. 
seventh in on-base percentage, and they're in the top ten of team batting average. That depth and length of the lineup paying big. On the ground to short, fielded by Ramirez. Throws to first in time. That's three down. They pick up. Quick look at Ozzie Guillen looking up. Last inning, that pitching gave up nothing. That's what he wants to see. Now looking for the offense to try and expand the lead. Here it comes. Oh, it takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. A swing and a miss. Strike three, but a chance at first. He's out back. And out. The catcher makes the play. Oh, that's a great play, Gary. Pitch in the dirt. Gets away from the catcher. Does a great job retrieving the ball and gunning him out at first. If you're a pitcher, you never want those strikeouts not to get recorded. Good play to be able to get the out at first base. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. It's down a base hit. That's going to bring Joe Creedy up. Where are your hit leaders for the month? Brought to you by State Farm. Joe Creedy. He homered back in the fifth. One down, runner at first. On the way. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. And it gets down. Hit after hit. They just keep on coming. He's got four today. Not in time. In there at third. And now he's heading for home. And Pierzynski comes in. Get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended in first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up, and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got the first base. That's how you get in safely to second. Has him out in front as he swings and misses strike one. Lifetime, he's got a uh, 285 average off Oakland. Tommy will foul that one away. He can't connect on that. Jim Tomey up empty on a swing. But just a great sequence of pitches right there, and it only took him three. Boy, that's about as fine a job on the mound as you can get. First pitch on the way to Damon. That swung on, line towards the gap in left center. That one gets in there, and Creedy will try and score on it. The throw, and Creedy comes home. Now batting. Well, they just the can't Chicago figure out a way to get this guy out. That's now four Alexei hits for him in this Ramirez. game. With a runner on second, Alexei Ramirez. Struck out swinging last time. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. Sweeney's there. And there's the third out. They pick up two, three hits, strand him in. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Five, six, six. And if you just joined us, our broadcast of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports with John Cruck and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. And Ellis settles in, first pitch. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. Well, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so th they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. Good cutter. Swung on and missed for the first out. The ability to move your pitches around within the zone, to change a hitter's eye level and keep them off balance are critical to success. Very successful there. Three pitches and a strikeout. First pitch on the way. Here's a fly ball to straightaway left. And he gets that one down. His second hit, two for four today. We got a moment to check out the State Farm leaderboard for teams that have tacked up the most extra base hits this month. The White Sox, number one. The Blue Jays in second. Third spot, the Rangers. The A's fourth. And at number five on the list, the Rays. Well, it's very difficult for one team over a oh, few what? weeks to have so many extra base hits. But when you have two teams playing in the same game that have a slew of extra base hits like these. Swing and a rocket towards short. Over to second for one. 
And they get two. Great double play. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. The White Sox maintaining their lead. to make this move right Three, now. One. Cut on and missed on one. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up and he hit the target. Good execution. A smash. Gone. That's a dinger. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. And Quinton settles in. Number 20, Carlo Quinton. Base is empty and no outs. And the first pitch. Oh, Circle one. change, cut on and missed, 0 and 1. Steve, uh, wow, when your pitching is taking this kind of a, of a beating and it goes on late in a ball game, you've got to feel bad. Uh, you know what? Your pitchers love run support. When it's run support late in the game, they don't care if it's a win, it's a win. Oh! And it holds at 0 and 2. Line towards second. Picked up by Ellis. So Quinton is retired. Right now we have our league leaders in on-base percentage courtesy of State Farm. These guys really understand the nature of the game. They understand that they cannot help the pitcher retire them. They force the pitcher to throw it over the plate. They can put it in play and get a base hit or they'll take a walk. He sends this one in the air towards center. And Buck brings that one in. Two retired here. Number So Alex Rios will try and keep it going. Look at the matchup, 246 against the A's. And he starts Rios out. Lined right at the second baseman. Coming That's going to bring up A.J. Pierzynski. Courtesy of State Fire. Here's a look at the American League wild card race. Getting close to the wire now. Yankees in first place. The Mariners second place. Orioles third place. In fourth place, it's the Royals. It's the Blue Jays in fifth. And down at the bottom, the Texas Rangers. I've got such a great race right now for the wild card in the American League. And these teams are going to be playing playoff baseball. Swing and a shot to third. And that'll put Pierzynski on first. I mean, a big two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. This man's doing what he has to do to help this team win. Two men on and two men out. First pitch to Creedy. Here's one hit very well deep. And Buck grabs that one and the sides retire. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox have really piled it on here. It's going to be Barton. He doubled at his last appearance. Number 10. Oh, and we'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching. He's been chosen to take over out there. Well, it's about time. I mean, I don't know what they weren't seeing from the dugout. They should have gotten out of this game a lot earlier. It's now 0-1. Watch that fastball go by. Well, a non-save situation right here in the ninth inning. And they just want to get outs right now. Try to get the first out of the inning. Take away hope as the other team needs to score a bunch of runs. Get it out. You can really deflate them. Still 0-2. That's foul back behind the plate. Well, you can tell right there that the batter is in protection mode. Anything close, he's just trying to put it in play. The fact that he fouled it off will keep this at bat going. And he fouls another one off. Jenks with a delivery. Takes that one, one and two. Good spot there, just down a little bit out of the zone. Tried to get him to chase. He wouldn't go for it. Oh! Swung on and fouled away. Well, you know the pitcher wanted that strikeout right there. He threw a great oh! pitch on the inside part of the plate. Thought he had him set up to go there, but a defensive swing keeps this at bat going. Oh, Slider oh! tough to lay off, and it's 2 2. Two-two pitch, and that's a base hit. Barton credited with it. 
I mean, That'll bring Ryan Sweeney up. Here's how the Central right. Division is shaping up Number late 15. going. It's brought to you by State Ryan. Farm. First place, Sweeney. the White Sox. Second place, the Royals. In third, the Indians. Twins are fourth. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. The Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before, and now they're doing everything right. And the swung on and a grounded to first. There's one. Over to first and safe. Very close play. They will not get the double play. Obviously, uh, you know, winning big right now, you just want to go out there, make plays, throw strikes, force them to try to put. Swing and a soft liner to the right. And that's a base hit. Davis on board. Oakland in a nice Oakland position Oakland. here to capitalize. Just kind of lean in, Steve, and slap that thing the other way on that kind of pitch. No, you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it to right field. He's one of the best at doing it. And it's Buck Maddie. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Well, you have to be ready for something hard, and this guy wasn't anticipating it. That's why he was late on that two-seam fastball. Jenks with a delivery. Started to go around. It's a call. Strike three. Two down. We got a second now to see the four seam fastball in KK. Couldn't pull the trigger. He couldn't even get it started. He came right back with another fastball, John. Well, you see him go fastball, fastball like that, and you know he has a lot of confidence in that here right now. Here's the 1 0 from Jenks. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. He's and out. on to first for out number three, and that's going to do it. White Sox win this in a lopsided victory, a dominating performance, Gary. Well, time to bestow that Pepsi Clutch Performance Award. Our fantastic display by Mark Burley got it done today. But you know, Gary, there's no way you can win baseball games without great starting pitching. And he came through in this one with the most important performance of the game. And that's basically the definition of what it takes to be the Pepsi clutch performer of the game. When you take to the road, Steve, any win will do. But when you get this kind of offense, it's very satisfying. Well, it also sends a message to your club and to that club that you showed up to play. So for Steve Phillips and John Cruck, I'm Gary Thorne. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you soon.